I swear that guy took Ymir's Titan. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to season four of Attack on Titan called The Other Side of the Sea. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. All right. <laughs> season four, what is going on? Are we here already? I feel like a kid on Christmas opening up this present. Who's this now? It's dangerous here. Oh, wow. So this thing is called the other side of the sea. So is this what's happening in like the real world? Because look, they've got guns and stuff. So I wonder if this is what it's like normal life, war and stuff. Wow, the animation is crazy. And we've got new names, Falco and Colt. Wow, the Aldean unit at the front gate got blown away. So this must be the Marlian warriors. Oh, he's an Aldean himself. Are you drunk? What is going on over here? Wow, so this guy's having like some form of memories from before. Because he's talking about he was fighting with a sword and they fighting with guns and he was fighting titans. Oh, wow. What is that? Another... Dude, this is already just filling my mind with so much already. Zofia, Falco... Too chicken to attack till we take the four. Udo. Oh, to be the next warrior like Zeke, most likely. Plan to conquer paradise needs a main player. Wow, the successor of the armored titan. Okay, so the other side of the sea is obviously talking about the Malayan, Malian soldiers, like their whole struggle. And now they're all trying to fight to see who becomes Reiner, basically. So now they're testing them in battle, but who are they fighting though? Damn, so they like really want it. They're like, I want to be the armored titan. Like, let's take out those devils. See, and look, until I free everyone from the intimate zone. Commander Magus, I wonder who that is. Oh, it's this guy. We let Joe and Cart loose. Maybe, most likely, like have them transform or something. That showed up. An armored train. Wow, anti titan cannons. 150mm round hits a titan, it'll kill it in a single hit. Even one of the nine. Wow, 
Wow. So here you find out about Bertolt and Annie, like this is where they originated from. The power of the Titan makes Marley great. Wow. It's like they hold the Titans in such high regard, but at the same time, they hate them. Bro's got flies walking on his face, but this is the trenches. But my thing is, it's like, who are they fighting? Because I'm sure this is an Eren and them, because they don't have that type of technology. You know, with those tanks. So is this like infighting in the normal world? Everybody's trying to fight to go and get the resources on Paradise Island. Must destroy the rail at whatever cost. Wow, so they're there. Crazy. So Zeke and Rhino are waiting for this thing to get destroyed so that they can go. Wow, there may never be another warrior as talented as I. <laughs> Not to mention one this cute. <laughs> <laughs> Playing on the emotions. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. So she wants to become the armor titan. So obviously Annie was here as well, like and he was one of these soldiers before. Oh, damn. So they're still wearing the armbands this side. Damn, like, wouldn't you just shoot at that point? She's gonna fling it at them. Oh, she's waiting for that to come past, the timing. But where exactly are you gonna throw it? Like, is there a cavity or something, or they're gonna open up to look? Like, you know, one of those flaps over there. Oh, underneath. Galliard, hurry up. Dude, run. <laughs> Busy celebrating, Humalian cowards. Oh my gosh. He's gonna get hit with a bullet. Even though it didn't need to be there. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Galliard. Bro, what titan is this? He's got like a steel face. Oh my gosh. If this is how they're starting off season 4, this is going to be an insane ride. Airborne Assault. Zeke will be our spear and Rhino will be our shield. This is insane. Rhino looks like older or different. So who knows how long this is after everything that took place. But I see now like... I asked that question about where did, like, Zeke get those titans from when they had that last fight. And I see, you see how people are sitting there, like, all, like, depressed. 
So they probably get forced to go with him and then he turns them into titans. Bro, this Galliard guy is an insane titan. Oh, and here's him as well. We never got his name last time. But the thing is, they keep talking about like becoming the armored titan, but like, isn't Rhinus still alive? Or is he being forced to pass it on to someone else already? And I wonder who got like Ymir's titan, unless that could be that Galliard, because it did look similar to Ymir. You know, this titan here looks similar to Ymir. It's begun. Oh, so this is what they do. Man, I want to see how Zeke transforms. Like, jumping out there. So all of these guys probably become those, you know, abnormals and those other type of titans. Wow! So his scream turns him to titans? That is insane, bro. Wow. Because he's got the royal blood. Dude, you are finished. <laughs> he's like, ahem. Ah. Bro, insane. That's the one thing about this show is that they, they even make like the bad guys look well, actually, who is the bad guys anyways? You don't even know, but all the characters are made, like, cool. Oh, man. Ah. Truly devils. Amalian ancestors were eaten just like that. By you Eldians. Here they come. Roughly half died on impact. I'm sick and tired of walls. Dude, armor titan. What a transformation. Oh, he just took out the wall. Look how important the armor titan is, just because it's armored. Obviously, having the colossal would be insane as well. Wow, anti-titan shells that penetrate even my armor. Oh, there's another armor train. Dude, this has started off incredible. Like, the animation looks top. Zeke. Oh, it's this Galliard. I swear that guy took Ymir's Titan. Just like the way he's moving looks very similar to Ymir's Titan. And I, like, maybe Mystic Mike has called it. Wow, they just tore through this place. And Zeke is just watching from the top. Our defeat brought about this war, Reiner. There he is, the Beast Titan. <laughs> Isn't war a terrible thing? Oh my gosh, if he throws that. Oh my gosh, the warships. The, with the major league pitch. Oh my gosh. No chance. Oh man. Wow. 
Rhino once again is hurt. Mental. So basically what he's saying is that because they lost taking Paradise Island, other people probably went there and like were like, no, we're gonna take over. And so they started having infighting. Oh, so the war So is this four years after? It's coming to an end. Wow. Is Rhino dead? Fort Slava has fallen. Wow, what an incredible opening episode of season 4. So now you see everything that's happening on that side. I mean, they even call it the other side of the sea, you know. And you see, they've got their own thing going on, obviously because of, you know, they've been sort of indoctrinated or they've been told that, you know, we need to go get the resources. We need to go get the founding Titans power. That's what they've been told. So they've like got these Malian warriors, these Eldian soldiers, and all of them want to get like one of the power of the nine. And so it's like, oh, I'm going to be the armor Titan X, right? And you obviously have to prove your worth. That's why they had them on the front lines. But an interesting thing that Zeke said was that this is happening because we failed, basically. So because the Malian soldiers probably proved to the rest of the world that they weren't able to do it. These other people, like the Slava people, were like, no, we're going to do it then. And you guys are going to step down. And so they started fighting. And that's what you saw now. But now we just saw the end of that war. But what he said was the war that's been happening for four years. So I wonder if this is four years after they lost the battle to Eren them. That would be an interesting jump in time but yeah man crazy really good episode it's cool to see the other side and it's like look at the technology that they have it's like aaron was saying in that last episode like the enemy is powerful and this is why because they've got titans and they've got weaponry and they've got smart people who are willing to put their lives on the line another thing is that galliard his titan looked like ymir same shape the way he moved around fast like that they were wearing masks, so that didn't actually come from the Titan itself, but he was wearing like a, a face mask, like a shield. And that other Titan who carries the stuff, that utility Titan, was also wearing a mask. So I do believe that that is probably Ymir's Titan that got eaten, but man, I'm super excited for this season. That's going to be it for me. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.